here the one and only activist, seizing activist, <laughs> to my partyojina officially, mm. the president of comedy as well. Akona mm. titles mm. mingi, eh, mm. nabi prophet, any ukona mm. mingi sana. Na leo look in the weza. Le, le video weza. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How are you? I'm doing fine. Uh -huh. I'm happy. I'm joyful. I'm jumpy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm jumpy. 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 I'm uh, kwa ku wa fire wale cabinet secretaries mm -hmm. na ilikuwa kitu ya kwanza tulikuwa tunaomba mm -hmm. eh hata ukisikia kwa ile speech yangu ya nabii yeah. it was number 1 mm -hmm. so ni kama alianza na hiyo mm -hmm. na akimaliza speech akasema we are going to do more changes and more fire mm -hmm. so uh, na ngoja kuona kifaya hawa watu wa Kenya power simumia hapa sana tokens sana uh, Ken James JKBC hizi maparastetal wote waende mm -hmm. Uh, so me, I'm very happy. I'm extremely happy. And the uh, president uh, has stopped listening to his people and now he's listening to the people. Uh -huh. And I get, uh -huh. he used to listen to his people, now he's listening to the people. Uh -huh. And uh, he's on the right track because the voice of the people is the voice of God. Uh -huh. If he fires, if he fires, I'm answer He might, he might be creating the greatest legacy of any Kenyan president or African president. Mm -hmm. mm. And what he needs to do is uh, make sure now that he has the space. Rais amepewa opportunity ya kutoka mabesti yako. Ndio kutoka mabesti yako ni ngumu sana. Tu ni mimi kukupea job uh, siwezi kukunyang'anya. Mm. Lakini na watu wote wakasema utolewe ndio kuambia trudi. Yeah. Sio mimi. Yeah. So akona opportunity ya ku make history and could make Kenya a trend worldwide by number one appointing a Mamamboga cabinet secretary mm -hmm. and appointing a Boda Boda cabinet secretary. How now, is through that the, possible? It's possible because out of five Boda Bodas, three are graduates. At upper India, Kendo Angalia Sai, just pick five randomly. What are the graduates? What are you, UN? And after those three, when you graduates, one are going to first class honors. Let me ask her. Uh -huh. Yes, ask us. Uh, maybe mm. Eric, mm. if an opportunity was presented to you, mm. uh, in one of, ukwe one of the CS, maybe in the next cabinet, mm. uneza kubali? Mi ata staki kuwa CS. Mi ata kuwa President Ruto. Kapa kama mjada lawa leo. Na muomba ya kuamba, aniite, aniulize. Eric, kwa nini umeshikuwa for two years? Ninini uliona, ninini ulitamani? What was in your heart and your brain and your spirit and your soul? Why did you stop comedy and start going to the street? So right now you are ready to meet him. Yes, I want to advise him. I want to tell him uh -huh. I'm happy with him. He's listening to the people. Remember, Sai Pia had an official uh, advisor. Had an official advisor. Yeah. Me, I'll tell the president why in 2022, mm -hmm. begin ending. Mm -hmm. So it's two and a half years. Yeah. I started going to the street, and my message has never changed. It has been corruption. Mm -hmm. Na corruption ni yes, yes, yes. Yapo ndi nanza apo. So, Mr. President, call some of us. Call some of us. You are ready. Yes, and ask us, Eric, ni nini yo liona? Sasa hivi unajua kisema awaite, probably you are Tadhania now you are ready for dialogue. Not dialogue. Okay. We are ready to give the president spiritual advice. Shishiko, sunajua kile kitu tumesema ime happen. Sindio? Ilianza huko na Ezekiel Mutua. Hakuna kitu tumesema ime happen. If I was the president, I would sit back and say, ni nini hi. You get? Yeah? But if the president wants to win, Cabinet yake isikuwe na, na politicians, hmm? uh -huh. ikuwe na wa Kenya. Ikuwe na wa Kenya, uh, ikuwe na young people. Yeah? Because revolution has been pushed by the young people. So I take his time, I breathe in, I breathe out. Uh, I ombe, I seek wisdom, I seek advice. Yeah? Before I appoint. You try to through this key the coalition government of parties then. Toka tumerudi back to uh, penye tulitoka. Sisi, kuna kitu tukonayo. Kuna kitu tumeona. Na tunaweza saidia rais. So that er I can tell you. So Eric, at this point, you are supporting President Ruto. As we speak right now. You see, uh -huh. even in war, when you get, when you, when you, if you get gains, mm -hmm. say you get a gain, mm -hmm. you retreat, you breathe, you re-strategize, you wait. So President Ruto ali, ali move chess, sure. Mm. Tuka sema noma. Uh -huh. yeah, so, that nam support, mm -hmm. but nime fry na ye. Uh -huh. 
because he has listened to the people. President Ruto has always been listening to his people. I can tell. And I'm going to go to the TikTokers. Yeah? I'm going to cloud chasers. Yeah? So, we um, have street for like two years now mm -hmm. as we speak. Mm -hmm. uh, what is going to make you go back again to the street? Because, uh, Mambo ni Meng. If the president does not fire the inspector general, mm -hmm. if the president does not fire all parastatal heads, we will go back to the street louder, stronger, bigger, noisier, messier, if he does not do that. Kenyans have also been concerned about uh, this office, the office of the Prime Cabinet Secretary. Mm. Because I mean, I'm it's not in the constitution and things like that. Mm. Why is your stand as a recommender? Mr. President, uh, I know Musala Mudavadi campaigned with you. I know he supported you and I feel you. In life, it's important to, to reward to say thank you for truly ni kuja ni ku support si ni kuja nini yako hiyo uki celebrate 100 so niniambia thanks mr president I understand that mudava supported you but you have an opportunity given to you by kenyans to do the right thing mr president do not include any person that people expect or know in your government so you think the position should also be abolished? It is not constitutional. Uh -huh. It is the easiest to abolish. You are from a morning show, mm. and uh, you think um, kuna positions here mm. that should be reduced. Yes. Women reps. Yeah. We had a clause, Shiko, you are a woman, mm. in the finance bill 2024 that was going to tax women's pads. Yeah. And it was discovered and brought on the limelight by men young men we had a clause that was going to tax pads and it is young people gen z's who are men who are fighting and discovered the pads in the finance bill while we have 47 women reps what are they reps in <laughs> if not women they could not come together in a forum of 47 and and a manner and raise their voice and refuse kusikwena in a pad. Because your women rep me. That's number one. Mr. President, Toa. Women. Yeah. Katakan mm -hmm. referendum. Number two, we need to reduce uh, the number of governors to 24. Shiko. From 47, From 47. From 47 to 24 half. counties. That's almost half. Almost half. Mm -hmm. The state of Texas in the US, it's led by a governor. Effectively. Do you know Texas is twice? The size of Kenya. Kenya in Angia Kwa Texas Marambili in a Leona governor effectively. Unona kituna pen kiambu na tattoo city. It's just the tip of an iceberg. We need to reduce counties by by half, by more than half. Twenty-four to kill these counties in a manager to kuna twenty-four governors, to kuna twenty-four senators. In a to abaden ya tax kwa wana inchi. And probably, um, do you think it's possible, or rather, do you think it will be effective? Like, as soon because hey, Gen Z, when I take a video, if I need to, yeah, will probably take quite right, a right now. Today, hot spots. Uh, uh, right now, Shiko, mm -hmm. you can see I'm very happy. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. Right now, as very commandy, mm -hmm. for the first time, I'm not, I'm not demanding from Ruto. Mm -hmm. I'm not demanding. For the first time, I am suggesting. Mm -hmm. I am proposing. Mm -hmm. I am requesting. Sasa tonyongi me change. Naomba. Mr. President, it will take time. But before you leave office, mm -hmm. Mr. President, remember you are the last of your generation. Mm -hmm. You could be greater than Kibaki. You will be greater than Uhuru, than uh, Moi, even, okay, the founding father, Stamguza. Mm -hmm. But you will go down as the greatest president in Africa. If you appoint a Mamamboga to, to the cabinet secretary, a Boda Boda to cabinet secretary, if you make sure before the end of your term, you take us to a referendum. I can take us to a referendum. Mm -hmm. Chico, I thought about it. I can start it now. Mm -hmm. It is constitutional. Yeah. But if the president can take us to a referendum to reduce the number of governors and counties, 
atawacha legacy yenye itakuwa celebrated internationally because uh, pesa mingi we thought we devolved services we devolved corruption the counties are more corrupt than the than the the, the national government na shiko mimi sina mbio juu tunaenda step by step executive we are done not completely but we are done uh, county we are coming parliament nimewambia mimi wenye rais ali sign ibc nisema yes Mm-hmm. Sana umbanga tu nasema na ngoja tu hivi nasema tu IBC ngie. Are you suggesting a dissolve pia pale? Mhm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Tu watu wachie. 2027? Ah 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 watafika. Uh-huh. Wale wale vote yes. Uh-huh. Watafika siko I ni sema ngine watafika. We are going to recall all Nabi. of them. Na eh watafika 27 ya nini? Hata wizi enda funeral sasa hizi. Hata wajenda ushago, wamejifunga hata wendi church. Hata hizi kuja hapa. Shiko fiki 2027 plan ni plan ni simple uh-huh. you you ruta tuachie amesaini IBC a constitute IBC mm. tuachie mm. tuko na energy wana jua gen z na millennials mm. tuko na time na tuna employment mm. we are going to recall every mp that voted yes wale ambao wali apologize kwanza hao ndo tunaanza nao <laughs> kwanza don't apologize tuanza na wewe shut nis nisikas mm? <laughs> usiapola atutaki mm-hmm. kama kuna mtu atoku dialogue na ulisikia vitu wako nasema hiyo time mm-hmm. kwanza kuna mmoja alikuja akasema eh hey, liniuma wawili ni mabeste wangu zao sitataja jina zao <laughs> moja <laughs> alikuja akasema uh, kwa tv akasema mr speaker sir uh-huh. i went to kenyatta university mm-hmm. and i am an editor <laughs> mr speaker sir I am a graphic designer. Those things that you're seeing Mr. Speaker are doctored photos and videos. Mwingine na best yangu akasema ile siku the first time Jenzizi walienda ta walikuwa wengi mlikuwa ka 10,000. Ati ali drive from state house ndio wakaenda kupitisha. Akasema kienda nini? Akasema kwa parliament. I'm just from state house I drove through Kenyatta Avenue. I didn't see any demonstrations. <laughs> Akaulizo you didn't see any, anyone mm-hmm. no no I saw some tiktokers uh-uh. I saw some uh, young people dancing mm-hmm. and uh, with phones and iPhones yeah. but I didn't see any Demonstrate. any demonstrations Kuna pia yule wa KFC iPhone Kuna ule kuna ule mama alisema bado mtanivotia na nimevoti yes na nitale kuja na pesa na nini si ndio They are going home president ruto hiyo isikusumbue we deal na na nini na parastatals uh-huh. deal na exec- watu watu wachie tu wachie legislature uh-huh. yeah hata sishughulike ah. nayo rais tulia uh-huh. wewe hakikisha kuna ibc ah wafiki tu wanafika kufanya nini kama kwa hawezi enda hata tuna, we are doing them a favor uh-huh. the people shouted loudly no Yeah. and you went against them as their representative you no longer represent us mm. you, you 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 are thieves you are conmen and if if actually we won't stop there mm-hmm. tukishawatoa wanyamaze wakiongea committee Mm. Maybe Mr. President there is some conversations around the scopes of Gen Z are pushing the button a bit too far mm. especially after hashtag #ruto must go mm. ilianza ku make way mm. online where maybe do you think that Gen Z first of all do you think that the Gen Z and the youth that are going on the streets are pushing the button a bit too far alafu pia uh, now that the cabinet was dissolved alafu kuna watu wanataka now because It is a it is a decision that was triggered by what was happening on the streets by the voice of people. Mm. So people are asking they want now to participate in now the reconstitution of, of a new the government. Yes. Yeah. How do you think that will go and what will be on that? So uh that is where Ruto will win or lose. What he does next. What is done now he's on the right path now. Yeah? What he does next will determine whether he stays on the right path and we go back to the street. Let me help you understand Gen Z. And I think I have the moral authority to speak on this issue because I think something in appear because nimelala kwa flaws mingi za cells mingi na nimangushwa hata sasa ni kuna uchungu hapa kutoka kwa farasi I think I have the right to say what I'm about to say I think I understand what 
the demonstrations are about because I started them yeah. two years ago. Mm -hmm. I think I have the scope of what we want and how we want it because I started it two years ago. Actually, to be precise, two and a half years ago. The Lianza and Lele play 75. The Gen Z's, if I may quote one pastor, is a hammer that God is using to change things in Kenya. The Gen Z's have done their part. Wamekuja waka change systems, waka shake foundations. Mungu amewatumia. But me, where, where I'm standing at right now, today, after Kituruto alifanya jana, I want to stand back and observe for a day or two. What will the president do next? Then from there, I can tell people, eh, ndio yu tunaipata. That's what I'm going to stipulate hapa. Fire so and so, fire the IG of police, reduce governors, appoint Mama Mboga. And then Mama Mboga, me and I insist na jua kwa nini. Truth ni kikupromise kitu hapa Kenya, lazima ni kipromise yangu. That's the only way tuta fight corruption, na tuta kuwa accountable. Ni kikupromise kitu lazima, ni kisema, tuta fanya interview. Hapo in Jersey Citizen at 8. The president never talked about uh, young people, or he did Kidogo, never talked about doctors, the president never talked about uh, lawyers, he never talked about surgeons, he talked about Mamamboga and Boda Boda. Severally, continuously, consistently, persistently. He said, Uyu Mamamboga, Uyu Boda Boda, Tukungia Pali, Tunainua Uyu, Tunatengeneza Serikali ya Mamamboga. Mr. President, appoint a mamamboga. Mr. President, appoint a mamamboga. Wako. Wako na wako na madigiri. Wako wapa kilifi na pale kakamega. Tuta wapata. Na mamamboga can also be symbolic. So, wazima kuwa ni mama na uza mboga. Okay, Eric, now that we're wendo. Yes. After Ruto Kupaya Cabinet, so many people felt kwamba that is not the solution, but at the same time, in the Apali vote on X, what do you argue that some of the CSs come more common, one of our new chungus is on ESC because they are no longer in the cabinet because more common could have so many cases, what do you say that on a final part of the police JKIA? to some groups in Gina Chakaapi. Do you think Kwamba the President... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think the President can have some particular role in the society of Mwami Toka to be an assembly of facts corruption and to use the society of power and to use the one of long money to be an attitude of power. So one thing at a time. To see Changanye Station. To see Anza Kungia Kotini and Muruko Mensai. Energy to end up. So let's fire first. Let's uh, finish what we started. To manage our cabinet secretaries, to nenda our ma parastatals, to nenda IG of police. Kuna mtoto bado tujazika alishutiwa na police. Kuna watu wamekufa wengi sana mnajua. IG aende. Uh, we deal with the atuna atu, atu nini genesis no yang. Tuko na time bro. Uh, our MPs wali vote yes waende C C2027. Hiyo ni insult to watu walikufa. Waende sa hii, tukimaliza hiyo, tukaichini, tuseme, haa. Aya, wapi muruko? Muruko men, come. Atuwachi mtu. But tusianze kudivert. Tuwanze kusema ati, ati, tuende kotini, nini, mm, tumalize kazi. Tuwashe nyumba. Let me tell you. Kenya, Kenya ni, Kenya ni nyumba inanuka. Ikona chose tatu wazijaflashiwa wiki mbili. Ikona panya zilikuwa ziko poison zimekufa kama kumi. Ikona viyombo wazijia ya Oshua for two months. Ni nyumba inanuka, lazima tuyoshe. Tuyoshe kwanza. Tuyoshe viyombo, tuende chini ya kitanda, tuyoshe, tutoe kila kitu inje. Matres, ikona matres, watoto waliko jolea. Aijia itolewa. Umekreti, umeona yu picture? So we clean the house first. Then after we clean the house, to say, Sasa, to not change in To pick a rangi, to change the dirisha, to no no matter simpia. You know, Sasa, I can amur comment. For now, we just stay on track. But me, I want to say, without fear, Naplakunakitu Longiapale Numa, Mr. President, 
you are a very spiritual man and you are a very prayerful man and you know what you have done. You have listened to the people and the voice of the people is the voice of God. Mr. President, you are on the right track. Do not leave the track. For the very first time, after two and a half years, Eric Omondi is uttering these words. You are on the right track. You have done well to throw everyone under the bus. God will judge you rightfully. Ulikuwa maali lazima uwatupe under the bus. Mr. President, it is okay for you to save yourself. Because me, I have a feeling. Ruto akisema pengine, siko shua. Akisema huyu mamamboga. Huyu boda boda. We don't know, maybe he meant it. But when I kwa governor, aka surroundiwa na all these CSS, all these friends, all these croonies, wakamambia wewe buwana wacha iyo. Mama mboga gani? Hii mm. serikali ni ye? Si wanasemanga kwa barambe? Mm. Wanasemanga, hii serikali ni yetu. yetu. So maybe Ruto is not the problem. Nasema maybe. I'm, I'm yet to see. Mm. Maybe now Ruto atarudi kwa ile promise alisema. Juu saizi? Didi, uli notice jana Ruto after amalize presa, mm. aki wakubaki uli, uli notice ako peke yake. Mm. It was a very weird scene. Yeah. He was alone, hakuna hakuna waiguru hakuna mm. mtu alijifungulia mpaka mlango mm. that is where the president is and it's the best place to be so jana akilala lala peke yake akaangalia ceiling board akafikiria where did the rain start beating us what did they promise kenyans what is going on with my country so ana reflect so maybe ruto meant the promises he made until he got into office yeah so, Mr. President, on the right track, make sure you may lift wa Kenya, make sure you have a lean. How many cabinet secrets were there? Yana, when you're 22, Reduce cabinet to 14. Kuna zingine kama nini? Here, Babu yuko sawa, ali mix, the youth. Ha? Aisha, you want arts and culture? Arts, sasa, ukiwana youth, na juwani kazi mob. But si tunalipu wa tufanya kazi. Kuna youth, uh, sports, gender. Gender. oh gender, hapo sasa, hapo gender ndo noma. But mi wangeka gender na arts, arts and culture yiko kwa gender. Wangeka kwa sports. Wangeka kwa youth. Mm. Juu, youth ndio arts. Mm, true. Kuna time ni kuna tapata sponsorship, ni kenda kwa ofisi ya youth. Alafu vinyalifungua proposal, haka nambia hii ni arts. Juli kwa event. So, when I get na, na ICT, maybe to send the sana. But I'm sure we can have 14 cabinet secretaries. Livestock and mining. Mm. Livestock, mining, agriculture, pap. We can get to 14, bro. Nugget. One of those comments that Father Mali made, mm. and yesterday he was summoned by the MCIC, mm. Akasama, he couldn't make it because of unavoidable circumstances. Mm. We also have another legislator who made the same comments mm. in 2023. It almost mm. feels like they're being a bit lenient to people who are now doing hate speech. What are your comments on Farah that? Mali, when you when Farah, when you fall, you want to kill you, you want to link a series, and Mpumbavu, he's stupid, he's an idiot. How can you go to a microphone like this? You are not even a parent. You are not a human being. You are a demon. He's always with the Rwanda. You are very stupid, Mr. Farah. Watch and watch and because you deserve it. You are you are you are idiotic. You are nonsensical. You are you are a murderer. You do not deserve to be a leader. You, by all means, Farah Malim, I was I was shaking. I don't understand how you are still in office. In 2024, how my MPs to President Ruto to Wakenafara. You need to resign. It is going to be very bad for him. He said that if he was president, he would have killed. I think one. He didn't say two. He didn't say ten. He didn't say hundred. He didn't say a thousand. He said he would have killed at least, at least a thousand. So he could have five thousand youths. I genuinely I just lost. You are a fool. If I meet you, I would, I would go to jail. I would punch you so hard. I, I don't know if you have children. We are all humans. And God, you are an idiot of the highest order. You are, you are a murderer. You are, you, 
if I were you, I would leave this country for, for at least 20 years. And the fact that you spoke it in Somali, it means you came from me, it came from your heart. We are having issues and discussions of how we can lift a nation from poverty. We can lift a nation from 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 nepotism, tribalism, and we've made so many gains from independence. We want to happen. You are an idiot. And if I meet you, I will beat you. You deserve a punch on the nose. Because sometimes, my, my dear, I'm going to tell you. Hilda. Life, kuna time ya lunch, kuna time ya nini. That's why, kuna vitu tuli repeal. Kama death sentence, kuna vitu tuli change, you tuna grow as human beings. But we must deal with you scathingly when you can speak, so that you become an example. Farah Malim, do MPs resign? Ama they do, they, what do they do? They can resign. Please, sir. That's the only respect in the Kupea. Has been recalled by the White Party. No, he's on the, he's on the politics. See, what in Nani, our ODM rebels were recalled. Farah Malim, please resign today. You will, you will, we are not going to allow, you saw, you saw the Gen Z's died. Uliona mtu alipigiwa brain katoka? Kuna mtoto pale amekufa ata tujamzika. This thing is a very serious thing. Yeah? This thing is a very serious thing that is going on. It's spiritual. We, we, we had a young person sit on the speaker's chair and hold the speaker's scepter. The power is with the people. Please, I'm advising you. Do not wait for us to come for you. It will be ugly. Cool our tempers by resigning. You will not be in that office in the next one month. I hope you can leave Patayona. It is uncouth, it is inhuman to imagine that people's children to a multitude of 5,000 have been massacred. It, it, it is, actually, it is, it is it's a genocide. And me, I was in Mexico, 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 I was Ni meu mtu ya lishuti wa juzi. Ni meu mwana hivi. Tulikuwa na kena trudi. Na bullet zake. Ni kalia tena. Lafu ni kenda online ni kawona a whole MP. Is ya hakuna watoto? Eh, thanks. Hakuna wife? A whole MP. Do you think, haki nda rudi parliament. Farim Malim, don't go back to the parliament. I swear to God. When the parliament resumes, don't bring me back to Mandamano and say Ruto Amanza Kuosha. Fari Malim, do not attempt to go back to the building that is the parliament of the Republic of Kenya. I repeat, Fari Malim, stay in your house. Try. I dare you, Fari Malim, I dare you to get into your car and attempt, don't even do, to go to the Kenyan parliament. Try. Right. Mm. Uh, to change your topic. Uh, mm. Whatever is happening right now on the internet, mm. Kenya has been placed as the giants of Africa following the Gen Z protests. Mm. Oh, but when the protests in Mendele, you might in Africa, mm. you still have hope for the youth. Uh, Kenya is trending worldwide. Mm. We were discussed in the Ghanaian parliament, we were discussed in the Tanzanian parliament. Uh, there is a uh, mandamano going on in Nigeria. Gambia. There is, uh, I've seen a poster, Kama yetu wamechukua waka change to Gina, Gina, Gina eh, ya Uganda, ya Occupy, Occupy eh, parliament, parliament, Uganda, Kenya, ndiyo, everyone is looking, ni mwana miladawa li post kitu, waka sema, uh, Kenya is a hero, the rest of Africa and the world are looking to Kenya. When you root the dissolved parliament, Kenya is shining. Kenya has shown that power is with the people. Kenya is, is seen as the most democratic. Even the, the space we had to enter the. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Komodi, our president of Comedy Africa. Ali.
Yo yo this is Kushman Pedi wa magengi Mambo vipi watu wangu wa Nairobi na Kenya mzima Subscribe Kwa story za nini 254 Across all social media platforms Hapana kuchanganya Na uende dori Subscribe right now Finya sahi Sa wewe finya